Arbiter. I'm like an Arbiter yes. at the start. Yeah, me too. Just um, don't waste the bullets. Or yeah. Don't use well, them all up so soon. Yeah, keep it. Keep at least a nice little bundle of them for threat and to close out the game with. I like to at least sit on like four to six bullets if I can. But it, you also have to use them. If it demonstrates your opponent, you will use them, or the threat is not there. It's a balancing act. I like that too. Putting the grenade on and then walking him to the corner, even though Thompson could challenge for space until that explosion moment. Wow. Okay. Used quite a few bullets for that one chance. Into 36%. Arbiter whiffs the command throw, gets punished. Thompson should have done a shadow wind kick to avoid that explosion, but he locked himself into a uh, heavy laser sword, which is optimal punish stuff, right? You want to do heavy button to heavy laser sword for an optimal punish opener, but in that case, because of the grenade, Ooh, you probably want to do something quicker. Okay, so here's another question for you. Now, I'm pretty sure I know the answer with the fireballs, but when he has overshield and he can ignore them, the hit, does he still get health off those hits on the shield? Uh, I don't believe so. Okay. I meant, like, health, I should say. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't think so. Because it didn't actually hit. Okay, I like the flip out. I like he uses a lot of flip out. There's very few people, I feel, that use that efficiently. Yeah, that is true. That is one difference in Thompson's play from last season. Is he has flip out, he's using flip out, he's created meaningful mix ups that he's hit sleep with in the last set at least three or four times. Um, you know, Arbiter has flip out as well that lead in some pretty meaningful mix ups, but you don't see sleep use it too much, I think. Yeah, but sleep is very much in control right now. We're also not seeing any of the. Uh, USA Arbiters use any of the gun butt manual tech, uh, which we did see from the Japanese players right away. Wait, using the gun as a manual hit? Gun butt manuals, yeah. If you don't know about those, you should watch the Japanese tournament and look at the gun butt manuals. What I'm doing after stream, that sounds awesome. That's ridiculous. Yeah, gun butt manual tech. Yeah, I mean, he's got a lot of control here. Oh, blew himself up, saved himself from the shadow counter by blowing himself up. Sweet fortune. Still a commanding lead. Yeah. I mean, so not having the bullets, like you said, that whole uh, fear is going away, so Thompson's yeah. definitely getting a little more comfortable right now. Thompson can freely anti-air every jump in now because there's no bullets. That He doesn't have to worry about getting shot when he tries to DP. Open him up. No, no challenge on that at all. Perhaps waiting for a counter breaker attempt. Oh no. Oh no! Oh, Perry and jump forward got him out of the corner. That was pretty clever. And he and right goes through. right through the fireball with his shield. Okay. Stabs him in the leg. GG. Another Arbiter up one game. There is always another that was cool. Battle. Yeah, that, that was a really good fight. Definitely tell Sleep though to save those bullets because whenever he had the bullets, he had so much momentum. He had the life lead and everything. And then once the bullets were gone, Thompson was comfortable to just move in when he wanted to and create pressure when he needed to. And that almost cost him the game. So bullets are definitely essential to the uh, Arbiter's play style against anybody. Yeah, um, you know. I did say before this character launched, you don't want to die with bullets in the clip, right? Mm -hmm. You better use them. They're powerful. But at the same time, you do need a couple near the end of the fight for threat. Because you can see a dramatic turnaround. It's like Sleep will just take this massive lead using his gun. And then Thompson makes this massive comeback because gun is not a threat anymore. It's gone. <laughs> Osler and Chad, it's like war. Don't waste ammo. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> he got open up with that low, and that's what caught yep. it. Nice optimal opener into a short juggle and the flip out. And, and the, the overhead, overhead does connect. All right. Sleep a little greedy with the heavy auto double into counter breaker attempt. Thompson's not having any of it. More back hard punch used in neutral from max distance into the one chance break. I think Thompson knows what he wants to do and how to get around this. Yeah. Arbiter's sitting on all those bullets, though. Anything could happen. He could get shot at any moment. 
Thompson respects it though. He's not going for anti-air because a bullet could come out and hit him in the face and do a grip. Wow, blocks the bullet, then anti-airs him. Thompson, you're an uh, you're a hero. You're incredible. And gonna juggle him one more hit. No, he had two more hits in order to get that to go off a little too early. I like what Sleep was going for though. I think he was hoping that that shield would hit and then he could get the confirm which would work. Yeah, he needed to juggle him just a hair longer to get the bomb to go off and recapture. Uh, double crouch fierce probably wouldn't be able to do that. Crouch hard kick. Or uh, target combo medium punch, medium punch maybe. Parry, yep. Very nice. Parry, no. He's trying to get sneaky. He thinks Thompson's going to hold still. Thompson's not going to hold still. He's going to jump around. He's jumping Jago. Okay. Ooh. Catching him on the back dash. He's one bullet. Yeah, take yeah. the life bar. I agree. That's one thing I am noticing about Sleep's Arbiter is uh, his shadow meter. Uh, oh, what a confirm! And the counter break. I would have been frustrated by that confirm and tried, tried to break there for sure, and Sleep would have got me. But Thompson had the restraint to not do that. Straight into Ultra, deletes the grenade. Purple blood all over the ground. Okay, a weird so tornado in the background. The one thing I will say is, uh, like, he did conserve the bullets, but I'm noticing there's too many times, and like all the times I've seen him play Arbiter, where he is waiting on grenades, or out of ammo, or doesn't have shadow meter. Um, he's being way too uh, liberal with his resources. Yeah, and that's the challenge with Arbiter, who's an, a resource management character. Like, you can go in and you can do these, like, crazy pressure loops and things, but there's a hard limit on it. You're out of bombs, and then you have to wait for them to recharge, or you're out of bullets, and then they're gone forever. Uh, so you can do some really scary, powerful, loopy stuff, but there's there's a hard limit on how long you can do that, and it changes the way you play dramatically once all that stuff's gone. Yeah, so I, I don't agree with the character switch. Um, I think he's doing very well with Arbiter. I think he knows what he wants to do with Arbiter, and it is working against Thompson. Um, I do want to see... It all, I think a slight change in management of resources, and he would be completely fine, still scary, and force Thompson to slow down to his pace. Because that I think that's the real struggle going on right now. Is he wants to keep Thompson at his pace so he can play his game, but when he's out of these resources or waiting for a grenade to reload so he can immediately use it, then he's got to wait even more. That's where Thompson takes the advantage to just go in and change the pace. Yeah, I'm with you. I agree. I like that Thompson is willing to go in despite a grenade being there. So I think a lot of Arbiters are getting a lot of mileage that isn't real off of... I have a grenade on you, so you just clam up and do nothing. And then I take advantage of you. But Thompson's like, you know what? I'm going to go in. If I combo you, at worst, we both get blown up and we're back to neutral. And at best, maybe I have enough meter to shadow Invincible through it and I get to keep my combo going, right? Uh, I think that's a really key thing to realize against Arbiter that Thompson has definitely realized at this point. Don't just clam up because you have a grenade on you. Just go fight him. Yeah. And it's going to force him to press buttons as well and mess up his game plan like we just yep. saw. Exactly. Yeah, it, it's like I was saying with the, uh, it, there's a lot of post stuff that the Season 3 characters can do right now. And some people may feel as like broken or not right. And it's just because of the lack of matchup knowledge. Oh, did you see the shield absorb that first fireball that yep. Thompson thought he was going to combo into? Yeah, but he's yeah you got to be really there. careful with that. If the shield's not depleted. What a sick uppercut. Jago uppercuts are so satisfying. Oh my god, he got him with the overhead again. Oh no, no, no. He no, no, no. is, I think, in, in their extended set in Winner's Finals and here. Jesus. He is, I think, 4 for 4 or 5 for 5 on flip out into overhead. And the one time he didn't do it, he walked forward and did medium kick, that hit too. Wow. So he's, he's like 100% on flip out mix ups. And the thing about it is, too is what you'll see a lot of players do that yeah. Thompson isn't doing is like they'll use something like flip out and they'll use the same setup like Thompson's yeah. used that pretty much into overhead 90% of the you know 10 times he's done it but and it's a little tough only... online but offline that overhead's reactable 
Yeah, but he's doing it like once a match. Yeah. He's not doing it constantly. He's like, all right, this worked, so I'm going to do it nine right. more times. Because you know that, that season two Jago style that developed where you just did like one chance break into launch render and sweep into Oki? Yeah. Like Thompson is, he understands that you don't just do one chance break and flip out into mix up. That you do long combos sometimes and sometimes you do short combos. And that if you don't do both, you're not getting optimal damage and you're not playing optimally. Yeah. Uh, which is what I really like about his play. I mean, uh, Grant, we haven't seen everybody that is playing KI right now since season two. But I would definitely no. say Thompson and Nikki are the. What? Are the what? Uh, full core? Hmm. Sleep's got a full gore? Yeah, I did not know that. It is a level 50. But um, I would okay. say Thompson and Nikki are probably the most adapted to Season 3 right now from what we have seen in these past two tournaments. I wouldn't even say necessarily that that's what it is. I think they're just like the most evolved or improved from the Season 2 players coming yeah. into Season 3. They've, they've really leveled up. Yeah, because, I mean, Thompson got away with, like, a lot of crazy stuff. And, uh, you know, going into Season 3, everybody was saying, like, uh, people that do stuff like that are going to get exposed. And What uh, is this? Why Thompson did he get away with three jumps like that? I not Sleep know. doesn't have DP? Yeah. Oh, he tried to break the flip out because he's tired of the nonsense, and he's been hit by it every time. And then he counter broke it? Thompson is psychic. Okay, it's Sleep's turn. What's he got? Okay. I, I, I'm stunned. Evan, I'm stunned. <laughs> four for four on flip out overhead. One for one on flip out walk forward crouch medium kick. And one for one on flip out counter break. Just did DP, just do it. If I'm asleep, I'm feeling like every move I make is wrong and I'm super frustrated. Yeah. You just can't get hit anymore. You have to play perfect offense. Perfect defense as well. And that's a frustrating thing to think you have to do. Well, pretty much after, I think, after the first or second game, oh Sleep's my God. been playing Thompson's game. Yeah, it he has. never been Sleep. I think he should have stuck with Arbiter. Yeah. This looks like a quick closeout for Thompson. You, you would need a miracle to come back. I mean, hey, KIT 2015, man. <laughs> we yeah. saw it get good grief for Ricky Walker, but no. There it is. Okay. Oh, wow. Uh, uh. <laughs> Stare down. <laughs> One false move from Sleep. Uh -huh. I like Thompson's patience, though. He's not going to break any of these combos. Just going to look for his opportunity. Now he can shadow counter this. He didn't okay. shadow counter that. What is he um, doing? If he comes back, he's no. Like, you can commentate no. the rest of the tournament. <laughs> well, come on. What is this? Finish the job, Thompson. I'm going to freak out if Sleep makes this comeback. Would be ridiculous. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> I'm so yeah, nervous. You just throw out a shadow move. Okay, okay, you, you can't block do. that. You can't block these. You're dead. What? He had the game. All he had okay. to do was make him block shadow fireball. Thompson was screwing around there, for sure. That is the 